Hey guys, it's uh, Austin here. Um, just posted a quick video of a, a final project I did for EC152. It's uh, the second series uh, introductory course to um, C and C++. And I wanted to post a video of uh, what I did for this project before I have to return the hardware back to my professor. Um, anyways, uh, so our professor, uh, there, there was a final assignment due uh, in our class and um, most of the students are writing some sort of software for this uh, embedded device it's called the Wonderboard it uses a it's just a little microcontroller Atmel microcontroller chip with an LED array and some buttons and switches and stuff and uh, I thought that was pretty lame so uh, our professor said he uh, he recently got his hands on some uh, MC70 uh, Motorola handheld devices and um, said if uh, any students wanted to uh, use this device as their final project uh, we could so I definitely hopped on the chance to do that um, so uh, for this project our uh, my professor just basically it was pretty open-ended he said um, he said he has a robot that um, uses a takes a serial connection and and says he wanted a wanted a student to write some basic software on this device that would send some sort of serial data to that robot using a serial com port so um, Here's my application, and, and it does just that. So let me just walk you guys through it, just kind of show you what it does. Okay, so um, I mimicked just kind of a basic keyboard, up, down, left, right con kind of control function um, that will send data to a robot to obviously go forward. Sorry about that. Uh, you know, up, down, left, right. Um, so... I uh, use this little stylus here and uh, I can touch buttons and uh, this is just a demonstration of a message pop-up bo box that says there's no COM port open to send data so we come down here I have two buttons that says uh, open port close port and um, a combo box here with a list of available uh, COM ports on this device now then thing I'm kind of proud about is the uh, this list here is not uh, it's not a generic just written list this uh, box here actually probes the device for available COM ports so um, on this particular device it appears I have a COM1, COM4, COM3 so on and so forth so here I can select a COM1 um, hit uh, open COM port Get a nice little message box that says COM port is open and um, as I hit the up button uh, here's the actual data displaying on a just a basic terminal program on my computer so I can go up down left and right obviously so and um, so and I added a couple extra little catches here to it also. So for example, if a COM port is already open, get a nice little message box as um, kind of an error, COM port did not open, uh, please you know try another. Um, I can also close a COM port, so uh, kind of releases the port. So if I hit if I hit um, up, up, down, left, right, you know it says please open a COM port to send data. So so as I tap it, you know, nothing, nothing transmits. So I right, can clear this, nothing transmits. So, um, yeah, so this is basically it. Um, this was a class on C++, uh, C++ and, and C programming. Um, I actually uh, did this in C Sharp. Um, the program was written in Microsoft uh, Visual Studios 2008. Um, on a virtual machine, a uh, Windows XP virtual machine. Um, I used uh, the uh, .NET framework, Compact framework, to develop this uh, program here. And um, 
and yeah, so it was it was quite fun. It was my this is my first kind of GUI application using a, a C Sharp and uh, Microsoft Visual Studios on um, a real handheld embedded device. So, um, so yeah, I just wanted to sh show you guys this kind of just demonstrate this and the use of serial com ports before I have to give this nice little thing back but um, yep yeah, uh, thanks for watching guys and, uh, I'll probably end up making more videos as, uh, as I have them so uh, take it easy bye